to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position Y on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position N on the green scale. Now collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. We will need the elbow slash shoulder adapter. The pillow may be required for comfort. And the footrest. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 80 degrees on the green scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 6. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 0 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 5 degrees on the black scale, whilst also adjusting the height to position 5. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 48. Install the elbow shoulder adapter into the long end of the input arm. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Now position the hand grip. Loosen the screw and slide to the correct position. Move the handle to position C. Note well. This position may need to be altered to suit the subject. Secure using the screw. Adjust the handle rotation by releasing the screw, then pulling the pin. Rotate the handle to position ab slash adduction, then secure with a screw. Next install the footrest into the chair using tube number 2. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Place the pillow on the chair if required. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lie on the chair. Adjust the monorail to position the arm. Allow 90 degrees shoulder flexion under the hand grip. Now the axis of rotation needs to be set. The axis for the joint needs to be directly opposite the black dot on the input arm. The axis of rotation for the shoulder is opposite the acromion. The chair fore aft and the dynamometer height may need adjustments to achieve the alignment. Once alignment is achieved, ask the subject to hold the handle. The length of the elbow shoulder adapter may need adjustment. Top tip. Try to leave the elbow a few degrees from full extension. Now check the axis of rotation. The test is ready to begin.